Hey guys, welcome back to Ultima Underworld. We have um, somehow mysteriously ended up uh, back on level two, and uh, we ended up in this room with the moonstone, which I've just grabbed here. Uh, you see a moonstone, and I figured out what happened. Uh, basically, I clicked on a scroll, which had the uh, the gate travel spell, and the gate travel spell will take you back to the moonstone. So wherever you place the moonstone, um, when you use the, the gate travel spell, you'll teleport uh, back to the moonstone. So we're going to take this with us. And uh, we might be able to use this just to do a little bit of uh, fast travel. But we are now down on, well, back up on level 2. And I figure while we're here, we might as well go back and talk to Shaq. And uh, get him to fix the uh, the Sword of Caliburn. And uh, that could be, a, I don't know, it could be a really good sword to use. I'm not sure if we should use the uh, one of the talismans, but it might be really good. Um, and I think there's something else we need to do as well. Um... I thought there was something else I was going to do here, but I've, I've forgotten it. So uh, we can probably get him to fix up the um, the jeweled sword here as well of additional damage. And that should uh, should bring that back up to excellent. I think that'd be good. Uh, now Shaq is somewhere in this direction. If we take the, uh, the northern path, that should lead all the way around back to Shaq. And this brings back memories. It's been a long time since I've been back on a level two. Oh my goodness, but it's a great game. Loving it. And uh, Shaq, hello, buddy. Ah, tis the bold one himself. What may I do for you? Um, okay. Let's give him the, this the blade. Uh, and there's the, oh no, where is it? Where's the hilt? Ah, there it is there. Okay, great. Uh, this is needed. Uh, Can they help me to repair broken items? Well, there's no substitute for practice, but I've heard tell, oh, sorry. Okay, Lon, yeah, I don't need to. Uh, this is in need of repair. Uh, Can they repair it? Hey, tis a fine sword there, lad. I'm afraid it's seen better days, though. Dinner fear, I'll make it whole for ye again. Uh, but I must charge you 20 gold pieces for such fine work, paid when you pick it up. Um, okay, very well. Here it is. Okay. Uh, 20 gold pieces. Um, I should have 20 gold pieces lying around. Uh, I've got 15 on me. Let's head back to the uh, the supply room. The dwarf. Actually, can we get this? Can I get this fixed up at the same time? I don't think I can. Okay, 59 minutes. It's gonna take. It's gonna take him one hour to fix the sword. And uh, we're gonna run back. I could just have a sleep, I guess, but I do need the gold uh, so that we can have uh, have something to pay him with. Uh, just make sure I'm heading in the right direction. We need to head uh, straight uh, east, uh, straight west from here, I should say. This should take us back out. And just across the uh, the hall is the dwarven, uh, the dwarven area. Sorry, the mountain men. They don't like being called dwarves. They're mountain men. Um, and we have the supply room is just over on this side, if I remember correctly. And uh, yeah, I've got all tons of junk in here. Just tons and tons of junk. So I might throw out some more junk, actually. Do you think I'm going to need all of these keys? Probably not. We've got an undamaged gold chain. Probably don't need that. Uh, I've got an undamaged goblet. Probably don't need that. Uh, and I also have a tarnished gold chain. Probably don't need that. Okay, so we're going to chuck those out. I'm going to grab some more. Uh, I've got another 30 gold. I might as well grab uh, 30 gold coins there. And is there anything else I want to chuck out while I'm here? Uh, Ragged Scroll of Night Vision. Magical Green Potion. Um, I don't know what these potions do, so I'm actually just going to chuck them out for now. A Magical Green Potion. Don't know what that does. Potion of Lesser Heal. May come in handy. Magical Red Potion. Uh, when I have the lore, um, maybe I'll be able to figure out what these potions do. But for now, I don't know what, it, what they do, so I'm not really going to just start uh, drinking them. 
Uh, it's currently afternoon, currently fed and wide awake. Uh, is there anything else I want to grab while I'm here? I actually want to move these to my kind of treasure chest, treasure pouch there. Um, okay, we've got a bottle of ale, a bottle of water, and a bottle of port. Ale, water, port. Um, I may actually um, just leave these behind. I don't think I'm going to need those uh, anymore. So I'm going to leave them here. I know they're here. I can always come back for them uh, if I do need them, but uh, they're just they're just too heavy uh, when I'm carrying around all of this stuff. Anyway, we're going to head back to see if uh, Shaq has uh, completed his work. We need to take this path here, don't we? And uh, we're going to run around. And I guess if he's not finished, we can always go to sleep. And uh, that should be fine. Uh, he can probably work uh, while we while we have a bit of a rest. How's he done? Um, 50, it's literally 60 minutes, isn't it? It's literally 60 minutes. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to have a sleep here. And uh, hopefully he'll be finished uh, by the time we wake up. We haven't had any strange visions uh, during, our, during our sleep recently. There you are, all fixed now. A beauty she is, and good as new. Well now, do you have the 20 gold pieces you owe me for the work? Uh, I certainly do. Uh, let's grab 20. It's quite expensive, uh, but there we go. Uh, I guess we can put that away now. Thank you, thou hast done more than thou knowest. Would you be needing anything else? You see the Sword of Justice. Beautiful. I wonder if we can actually use it. Um, okay, uh, let's have a look. What else do we want done here? Slightly worn magical wand. I guess I could get these. Can you tell me? Can you tell me what this is? A slightly worn magical wand. That, that'll be two gold pieces. Alright, well I'll give him two gold pieces. And uh, hopefully he'll give me some information about it. And not just tell me that it's a wand. Uh, yes, here thou art. That's a wand worth about 14 gold pieces. Uh, okay, he didn't give me any more information about these ones. I guess I need to figure it out by myself. Um, now, we need to repair... Uh, well, I want to repair this sword. Uh, the gauntlets. Excellent plate leggings. Excellent breastplate. Uh, what about the helm? Is that damaged? Uh, it's not damaged. Uh, I guess we could repair the gauntlets as well. Uh, they're serviceable. So we'll try and repair these as well. Um, I have something that is in need of repair. Ah, do I look like I have four arms? Okay, let's just worry about the sword for now. Uh, oh, here it is. 19 pieces of gold. It's quite expensive. Yeah, fix it up for me. In 11 minutes. And don't forget uh, the 19 pieces of gold. Okay, so he's going to fix up the, the jeweled sword. And that's going to be good. I guess we should just go to sleep again. Um, he's got some of his own swords here as well. Uh, so yeah, let's just go to sleep uh, for a little bit. And uh, when we wake up, it should all be done. Let's have a chat with him. We'll grab the, the gold here as well. Uh, now that was 19 uh, pieces of gold that he wants for that. So let's give him that. Here thou art, and we have a beautiful, uh, excellent jeweled sword. Thank you. You are truly a craftsman, Shaq. Um, that's all. Thank you. Would you like to trade? No, I'm fine. Thank you, Shaq. Okay, so we need to head back down now to uh, level 5. It's going to be a bit of a walk uh, getting back down there, but luckily there is uh, a staircase next to the uh, the Mountain Man King um, in his in his room, in his uh, th just behind the throne room. He does have his own uh, staircase leading down to the lower levels. 
So let's head down there and get back to level five. And I'm just trying to figure out what exactly what I need to do. I wonder if uh, Goldthirst has anything more to say. Ah, Bryce, it's a pleasure to see thee again. Thy name shall go down in history of our clan. Uh, I do not deserve such praise. O oh, Pish, thou bearest the amulet of coolness, a testament to thy heroics. Okay, so uh, I didn't have anything new to say. Let's head head back here. Oh, and uh, just head down the stairs, and we'll find the quickest way uh, back down to level five. Now, I think this... Yeah, unfortunately, this door is closed. I know. Is it left, right, center? Left, right... Oh, there we go. I did. I did remember it after all. Okay, so we're down now on level four. I'm just trying to work out where we want to get to because this. Uh, this staircase here will take us down to the ghouls uh, and these two here will take us to the other part of the level. Now we wanted to go to the mines, didn't we? So we'd better go down these stairs up here. So I'm going to have to uh, just go through the trolls area to get there. Let's just go through the trolls area this way. It's a bit of a walk getting back, but it's not actually going to take us too, too long. So, we're almost there already. I must be getting hungry now. Oh, you're currently very hungry. Okay, interesting. There we go. Let's let's just eat some of this. Um, just, just put it in there for now. I might put the sword in my backpack if I can. There we go. Let's have some, uh, have some bread. Uh, we're gonna eat some of that. Currently fed. Okay, that's fine. Oh. And uh, here we go. Okay, so we're back. We're back. Um, let's take a quick look at the map and see where we need to go. Yeah, so the teleporter control room, the mine control room is over here. Um, so I want to get back there and see if we can be teleported into the mines. We do need to find the, the I think it's the Zanium, uh, is what we need. I didn't notice that uh, the banner there before. The plaque reads, High State Chamber. Uh, and there is the standard of the Silver Serpent. So I didn't notice that uh, earlier. I think we want to continue going south and then take the southern path uh, from the center, I think. Uh, yep, that's pretty much where we're going. And uh, we do have to jump across the lava, so I'm going to save the game here just in case things go a little bit wrong. And, uh, oh, okay, so let's... Oh, there we go. Okay, beautiful. So this is the, uh, the mine dispatch chamber. Um, now, we were given the controls here to open the gate. Oh, the gate's open already. Now... Um, is this the right gate? Hold on a second. Is there another gate? Okay, so we've we've pulled the switches there. Uh, we've opened the door. Uh, let's just continue forwards. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. So I should have some Zanium. Um, do I have the Zanium? Is this... 
Was I given some Zanium? I'm pretty sure I was given a little bit of Zanium. Uh, it seems to have disappeared now. I don't know where it is. But, uh, oh no. I collected a little bit. Where is... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I haven't seen one of these ghosts before. Um, and it didn't last long at all. Where is this Zanium? Oh, there it is. We've got two bits. So we need at least 80 bits of... Whoa, another ghost. Okay, it looks like there are a lot of ghosts uh, here in the mines. Uh, we're going to take out these uh, these ghosts here and uh, collect the Zanium uh, along the way. There we go. So I guess if we just run around, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like this is a bit like Pac-Man, actually. Uh, running around, collecting the, the, little, the little pellets and being chased by these ghosts. I do feel like this is a... <laughs> a game of a game of Pac-Man here in Ultima Underworld. Anyway, let's collect all this Zanium. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Uh, I guess I should look out for some um, <laughs> some secret doors along the way as well. Yep. Oh, well, that teleported me back. Okay, is that on the map? Uh, okay, so we have um, uh, T1 teleports here to, uh, to T2. I guess we'll do it that way. Um, okay, so if we head straight, we should, uh, should run into more Zanium here. 40, 42. Let's take down these, uh, some of these ghosts and we should get a few experience points uh, for killing them as well. That one actually was a little bit tougher than the others. Okay, I don't know if there's going to be 80. Oh, there must be 80, I guess, but there's not going to be a lot a lot left over once I've collected uh, 80 Zanium. I don't know why that uh, the wizard wanted so much. Um, okay, if I head, head to the east uh, from here... Okay, let's just have a look and see where we are. Um, there's a bit of a maze here. But it uh, looks like we found a little bit more that we can collect up. There we go, 63. Getting there slowly. Almost at, uh, at 80. We just need to have a look at this central area. Oh, what is this? Uh, let's put the sword away. Exit corridor. Exit corridor. Oh, okay. It takes us back as well. So there is a teleporter there. Uh, down here. Uh, I guess we'll go T3. So there is another teleporter there as well. Which is a little bit uh, interesting. But uh, we don't have the 80 yet. So we're going to uh, just head back through here. See if we can... Um, see if we can collect... Just a little bit more here. Sixty-five. Uh, so not too much more. We need another thirteen. Another thirteen bits of zanium. And uh, then we should be able to, to get out of here and whoa, go back and, uh, and meet the wizard. Uh, there's these blue ghosts here which I want to take out. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Uh, 73 bits, we are so close, so close. Uh, 75 now. So there's probably just a few little corridors that we need to need to explore. Uh, there's a little bit just further north here. If 
I follow this path, 76, 77, 78. So close. 79, 80. Okay, there we go. We've done it. We've done it. So I don't really see any secret doors around here either. Let's head back to the teleporter. Uh, then we can go to the wizard and uh, let him know that we've collected the Zanium and uh, hopefully he will have a bit of a reward for us. So that should be cool. Uh, let's take a left here, head back through the exit corridor. Bang, there we go. Okay, we're back. So where's the wizard? The wizard is up here with the shrine. It's only going to take us a second to run back. So I guess uh, I will run back and uh, uh, give the wizard the zanium before we... Oh, we're going to jump across as well. All right, we're going to save the game here quickly. Uh, episode 37. So it's, going to, it's, a, it's a little bit of a dangerous jump here. Um, let's see if I can make it across. There we go. And uh, run back to the wizard. Give him all the zanium, and hopefully he'll be happy with that and, and give us a nice reward as well. Now, I'm pretty sure he was over here, right down the end where the shrine was, and there was a nice fountain there. So it's a good spot to rest, and it would be a good spot for us to leave the episode if I can find the... I think there's a dead end here, isn't it? Yeah, I thought that was a dead end. Uh, the the wizard is, I think, the next left. No, I'm I'm a little bit lost. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. He's just at the end here. So I was right. Okay. So where is he? Where's he coming? Oh, there he is. Uh, Anjor, Anjor, I'm back, Anjor. Uh, okay. Hast thou found 80 samples of zanium? I certainly have. There you go. Uh, yes, I have. Excellent. May I have them, please? Here they are. I thank thee kindly. Return in an hour, and I shall give thee a gold nugget, the size of which thou canst but imagine. Um, okay, so he's going to give us a, a giant gold nugget uh, with that zanium. And uh, that is all the time we have for in this episode. Thank you so much for watching. See you all again soon for the next episode of Ultima Underworld.